another month, another Bookopoly. And this month, I don't know if I'll be okay or not. <laughs> Welcome back to Average Joe's and I'm Jessie and today I'm here to talk to you about my May TBR and let's see how I did last month. Okay so last month I was supposed to read these plus one that I have inside and so for the first roll I was supposed to read a fantasy that was from Blood and Ash. Finish this. Uh, for Friends, I was supposed to read Den of Vipers. I have started that, so I'm currently reading that. So for number three, I was supposed to read Love Scam, and I DNF'd this. And for four, Confessions of a Psychopath, I DNF'd that. And for Romance, I was supposed to read this little thing that wants to fly away, which is Texas Nest Destiny. I finished this. And then for a reread, I was supposed to read Mistress of All Evil, and I did read this. Oh, overall, kind of a chunky month for reading, but I did it. I started all of them. I either finished them or tried to read them. And I'm pretty proud of myself because From Blood and Ash was ginormous, and so is Den of Vipers. But I'm already oh, uh, over 100 pages into Den of Vipers, and I am currently enjoying it but we will see there is lots of intrigue surrounding this book but anyways let's get into my may bookopoly rolls are we ready may roll number one eight Disney. So for roll number one, I got Disney. And for this one, I'm going to do something, just bear with me. I know what I'm doing. So for this one, I'm going to read, So This Is Love. This is by Elizabeth Lim. This is What If Cinderella Didn't Try On The Glass Slipper. I am really looking forward to this one. And the reason I picked this one for Disney instead of Mother Knows Best is because I, you'll find out later, but the other reason is because I've been doing these videos called This or This, where I kind of compare and contrast the Twisted Tales versus the Villains series, and with Cold Hearted coming out, I wanted to read this one in anticipation for it, and it just kind of worked out that I got, to, got it on my TBR, and this is also on my 2020 releases that I wanted to get to, but I didn't get to. So I'm going to read this one. Roll number two is a double. Four. One, two, three, four. Fantasy. Roll number two, I got a double. And that I also landed on fantasy. And for this one, I'm going to be reading After Midnight. It's supposed to be here, but it's not. It's currently somewhere in my city, not in my hands. Uh, this one is for the Rake Appreciation Book Club. The live show is April 13th. And I don't know much about this one. All I know is that it is a paranormal fantasy. I think there's vampires in it. Not quite sure. But this is the first one in a series. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that it gets here soon. So I can start this. So I can be ready for the book club. Roll number three. It's a five. A chance. Okay, so I changed up my chance wheel just a little bit to be more like the actual Monopoly board. So let's spin this. And I guess I get to buy a book. Awesome. Roll number three, I got a chance. And as you saw, I changed up my chance card, my chance wheel to look more like the book, the, the Monopoly chance cards. And I 
put a few things in there that were a little bit different. And for this one, I get to buy a book. And so I will be buying the third one in the From Blood and Ash series, but I will not be rereading that one. I'm going to read this book that I bought, which is The Score. This is by Elle Kennedy. This is the third one in her Off Campus series. This is about Allie and Dean. Allie is the roommate from roommate from the heroine from the first one and Dean is one of the hockey players and so I recently just bought this one so technically I'm not breaking the rules and anyways they are my rules and I just kind of figured it was a freebie since I'm going to be buying that book anyways but I recently just bought this one so I'm going to read this one in anticipation so I can finish this series up roll number four is eight. Eight, lowest rated. Number four, lowest rated. This space has come up more times than I really want it to. This technically isn't my very lowest rated but it is one of my lowest rated. And the reason I picked this one is because it is on my backlist list to read books from my backlist that I have been wanting to read. And this one is Romancing the Throne. This is by Nadine Jolie Courtney. This is about two sisters who go to an all girls school and then they are introduced to handsome 17 year old Prince Edward, the heir of Britain's throne. So this just kind of seems like two sisters who fall in love with or think they fall in love with the same guy who actually is the prince. I'm not sure about this one. If you're new here, I am slowly moving away from why it's slower rather than like a quick just drop off. But I am moving away from YA. This is a YA book. I will definitely give it a chance. Not all YA books are a complete DNF for me. And I am looking forward to reading this one because it just means that I get to mark off another one from my list that I want to read. And so that is why I chose this one instead of what is actually my lowest rated right now. My lowest rated currently is a Duke, the baby, the Duke, a Duke, the lady, and a baby. That is my lowest rated right now at 3.15. And this comes in at number three lowest rated, which is 3.25. I really don't look at the star rating and just completely write a book off because of the star rating but this is the third time that this space has come up in the past three months and I'm getting really mad at it. I will be reading this one in May. Roll number five is 10. Romance. So for roll number five, I got romance and this one just came in and I have been spring cleaning my TBR. So I've been going through the books that have been on my TBR the longest and trying to see if, I, if I'm still interested in them or if I just want to completely get them off my TBR. And this one came up because this, this book has been on my TBR probably the longest and I put in an interlibrary loan for it just to see if I could get it. And that is The Paper Princess by Aaron Watt. This is book one in the Royal series. And I got a little sampler from Kindle from Amazon and I really enjoyed it. I didn't even finish the sampler before I started looking for a copy of this. But I don't know if this is considered YA or not, I know the girl is in high school, but if I remember correctly, this one can get kind of steamy. We will see. 
But this is what I'm going to be reading for romance. I'm looking forward to this one, like I keep saying. But this one has been on my TBR the longest out of all of these books that I have here today. And I'm marking off a lot of little lists that I have. You know, my 2020 list that I didn't get to, my back list that I didn't that I didn't get to, that I want to get to, my series list that I want to finish up, and then this one is what my TBR vets. This is what I'm going to be reading for romance. And last roll, roll number six, is seven. Is a reread. And finally, for roll number six, I got reread. And this is why I chose So This Is Love for Disney, because I am choosing to reread Mother Knows Best. This is by Serena Valentino. This is book five in the villain series and just because I always show this here's the other here's her alter ego this book is obviously if you are new here this is Serena Valentino's fifth book in the villain series we are following quite a few famous very well loved villains this is Mother Gothel's story, and this one is really dark, just an FYI. This one, I know that these are middle grade slash YA, but this one is really, really dark. And I didn't tab this one as much as I tabbed the other ones. So here, just as a, a perspective, because I, I have tabbed books before, but so this is uh number five and when i tabbed this one i thought it was going to be the odd sisters was going to be the last book but it wasn't so i'll probably tab this one a little bit more this time going into it so this is mistress of all evil these are all the tabs and they're all color coordinated and this one is mother knows best just to give you a little bit of perspective. So I will show you what it looks like after I'm done reading it for the second time. So those are the books that I hope to read in May. Uh, if you're new here, we're also opening a store in May. And as you can see over here, we have empty shelves. Because all of these games behind me are gonna be gone in June and this shelf is staying and my books will be back here in June so you'll actually get to see my books yay but so May is gonna be kind of a crazy month these are the books that I'm going to physically read I don't have any audiobooks I don't have any of these on audiobook right now I'll probably see if I can get Romancing the Throne on audiobook. But currently, these are the books I'm going to read physically. Now, I also spend a lot of time in my car. So I will probably re listen to maybe five more audiobooks. And those I just kind of, I just randomly choose. Also, with going through my TBR and cleaning it out, I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks going through that but I'm hoping to physically read these and that is why I chose kind of smaller ones because my time is going to be really really busy this month. This is only a small portion of the games that we have to move from our house to the store. This is three shell three sections and it goes pretty much all the way up. This is the shelf right here. There's one more above it. And this one down here, right here, there's one below that. So that's a lot of shelves. And this will nowhere near be filled with books. But that's all I have for you today. Let me know if you've read any of the, 
any of these books. Let me know if you're going to read any of these books now that I've talked about them. And I will talk to you in the comments and I will see you in the next one.